so up onto the first floor <coughs> and into the main grow area where as you can see an extensive setup these are only small plants in there small juvenile plants they're all tented and there's four propagators in here there's the big <coughs> water butts which feed the plants Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors at Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and these stories come from the West Midlands and the UK. The first story is about West Midlands Police have released a statement about the amount of cannabis that was seized in relation to factories in the West Midlands in 2020. The police said their specialist cannabis factory clearance team seized drugs totaling 90 million pound and they will keep up the pressure on crime groups. Figures from the cannabis disposal team showed they closed down 398 large cannabis farms in 2020 and seized plants with a street value of 86.6 million pound. The CDT are the people responsible for getting rid of the factories and you may recall the case we covered recently of a police officer that was selling that equipment on eBay and making tens of thousands of pounds from it. He was dismissed from the police force for that. On this list, the organised crime gangs, they don't include any smaller setups. So this would have to mean they're jumping the electrics. The head of the CDT, Mike Hall, said that most of the cannabis farms we deal with are funding organised crime. We find weapons, machetes and sometimes guns. And people found at the property are very often illegal and being trafficked here into the UK. He said the team are specially trained to get rid of the drug factories and it's a very hazardous environment. Offenders tend to steal electrics by tampering with the main supply and the dodgy wiring and it's a real risk. Several have gone up in flames on many occasions. Anyone who says it's just a bit of weed are very naive. These criminal enterprises are ran by serious crime groups. The biggest cannabis farm that was found in 2020 was in a storage unit in Foles Hill Road in Coventry. On the 20th of July, drugs valued at £3.6 million were recovered and £2.6 million was found at Halliburton House in West Bromwich a week earlier. And I actually went to the scene of that property. I managed to get access from the security guard and we managed to get footage from inside there. That is literally what it was about, was showing people how prolific cannabis factories are nowadays. This is insane. Look at this. Look at this, it doesn't stop. Like every room was cropped out. Every room. This is crazy. Look at this, every room. Whoa, look at that, I just nearly fell through a hole in the floor. They say many of the successes were passed on to them by members of the public and they urged anyone to contact them if they were suspicious. So that is a big story in relation to seizures of cannabis farms and the amount that has been found in the past year. And in other news in relation to big seizures, four days ago in the Briley Hill area of the West Midlands, this is in Dudley, 500 plants were found inside a former Concord discount store. This is on Bridey Hill High Street that's opposite the Mecca Bingo. And again, I think I said this before about the fact that lockdown is having a massive effect with no businesses being open and they can guarantee they won't be open for several months, that people could put plants inside there and easily make some money back. They said several bags containing Class B drugs was also found in the premise and it was seized by police on January the 8th. A transit van outside the property was also seized as well. And also in Birmingham, police have found a £100,000 cannabis farm that was smashed by the police in a well-to-do area in Birmingham. This was in Handsworth Wood, in the nice part of Handsworth. And Tuesday, January the 12th, police discovered around 100 mature plants growing inside the premise with a street value of £100,000. They filmed inside the cannabis farm and it appears to be a large lounge inside a house with the plants being under the light. As well as the plants they found a large amount of cash and Lazal's police says along with video from inside the factory police said our team have discovered and dismantled one in Hansworth Wood with a hundred mature plants. A large amount of money was also found and as I said before this is a regular occurrence this is almost daily that these sort of seizures are being found. 
and in Edinburgh in Scotland, police investigating a cannabis farm have carried massive bags from the property containing evidence. Multiple police officers were seen leaving the property on Leaf Walk on January the 9th and a Police Scotland spokesman said that a cannabis cultivation had been uncovered and officers remained at the scene. And in a similar story from Runcorn, three men were due to appear in court after police found the cannabis farm in a Grade 2 listed building in Stone Barn Lane in Pallisfield in Runcorn. Shortly after 3pm on January the 9th, a crime scene investigation van was seen with Cheshire police vehicles also there. Electricians were also seen at the scene. Several people were arrested and charged with producing Class B drugs and remanded in custody at Warrenson Crown Court on January the 11th. The pub was shut down in late 2017. So as you can see from all them different stories, they can be in various different places and it happens in every country, Wales, Scotland, England. And it only seems to be getting more prolific as the years go by and people seem to see it as a way to make some quick money. So I really appreciate you joining me today. Please leave a comment below and share the video as a way to support the channel. This video will not get the same advertisement on YouTube due to the topic. But please support the channel in any way that you can during this time. And I wish you all the best today. Peace. Envirogrow lighting. And again, we've got plants at different stages of growth all the way through this particular part of the setup. All the ducting is being fed through and into this area here and then blown out more than likely through the, uh, the grow room below. Into this far room where as you can see there's a, a substantial amount of uh, plants in this room which are just starting to flower and in bud. Um, there's some cables coming up from the floor below uh, which could possibly trail into the uh, the main substation where it's been made safe by Western Power and all these cables will be running into these consumer units fuse boards etc looks like grow net uh, sorry drying nets which were obviously used for drying out bud ready for selling fans and filters again no air up here at all Air quality is very poor, roof is solid, can't get no air in here at all, uh, plants are very well established, probably has 60, 60 centimetres in height but very mature in bud and well, considering they're quite a small plant there's quite a, a lot of bud on these which will be stripped then dried put in the nets over there and as you can see this goes quite far back into the unit and this is the living quarters put a dry bud in there one of the drawers living quarter oh, there you go back the albanian times